brings you up today? <sighs> yeah, there's, there's first this feeling of like a really strong reaching to the past to make sense of the present and like move forward. So there's sort of like this blank slate of the unknown. Um, that's really present in my body, kind of creating that attack, like just the closure. But there's also like a very, feels like a, a, a core um, attachment to this idea of like worthlessness that comes up every once in a while. So yeah, that's, that's sort of in my field right now. Mm -hmm. Feels like a 30 pound bl blanket on top of my body. <laughs> yes. Yeah. yeah, in the shoulders, like the chest. Yeah, the yeah. heart. Feels yeah. also like a, like grief in a sense, mm -hmm. along the lines. So is this a recent thing that you're working through? The self-worth and um, thinking about the past or is this something that you've always worked through? I think it's been a pretty dominant part of my personality for a while. Sorry, there's a spider in front of me. <laughs> <laughs> it's been hanging out on my phone this whole time. I don't know why he's, he's doing maneuvers with us. So That's jump <laughs> what jumping spiders like to hang out with me when I record. It's like my little animal totem. <laughs> oh, there you go. That one's for you. There you go. <laughs> so it's always been there. Okay. Mm -hmm. And what do you do? I'm a coach. I'm a transformational coach. Mm -hmm. Why do you do that? My heart's like, like <laughs> the second you ask. <sighs> it's to offer that freedom of liberation the best I know how. When did you first feel that when you were younger, that feeling of that being taken away from you? The feeling of being free. Yeah. Like the feeling, when did you first feel stuck or trapped or like you couldn't do something? <laughs> yeah, there's uh, a story that feels like it's just like right out of the womb. Um, yeah, right out of the womb, there is like a disassociation or like, um, I call it feeling like I orphaned myself from my parents. It felt like um, it, it, it felt like I could sense a difference from like unconditional divine love. And then I felt something different from my parents. And I was like, not this, I'm out, screw mm -hmm. this. How does it feel when you talk about that? It feels it feels powerful and purposeful to say it out loud, especially on a much more public stage. Yeah, it's, I, def I definitely feel like the knee jerk reaction of how, how far I pulled back from that pain. And what's your relationship with them now? My relationship with them now is, sorry about that noise. <laughs> okay. Um, it's much better. There's like, I'm, I'm willing to connect with them and grow and I want to have like a super close relationship with them. Um, but there's almost a superficiality like at the heart space because I don't, know them as well as I want from my heart. Mm -hmm. So that's an area that I can grow in. Yeah. Do you feel connected to you? For the most part, I, I have, I've realized 
realized recently that I've been leaving my own like my own awareness of my body and so so I've been putting more psychic boundaries in place to to actually just stay with myself which mm -hmm. has been insanely helpful yeah what is it that you're not saying <sighs> that there's a lot of like terror from the feeling of not like intrinsically being supported by others, feeling very, very alone. <sighs> now, I also like feel the um, leeriness of trusting because because of that initial, like, this isn't God's love. This is something else. Mm -hmm. hmm. It's interesting because you know what unconditional love feels like. So, so I want you to go to that feeling in your body right now. Okay, now bring that, that feeling two feet away from your body and around you. <sighs> now six, six feet. What do you feel? What'd you say? What do you feel? I felt a significant... <laughs> yeah, I feel something really significant shifted mm -hmm. um, around like my pelvis and my sacral. Yeah. So it sounds like you have have the ability to go in and out of love and, and, and compassion and enlightenment, right? That energy. You go in and then you go out and then you go in and then you get scared and then you go out and then you go in uh -huh. and you get scared and then you get out. And that's kind of a cool thing because you know how to go there. And when you feel safe, you can go there and you can stay there. So the feel Feeling the root chakra where you felt it open your pelvis was because you didn't feel safe if you don't feel safe then the body goes into protect if it goes into protect it shuts down and then it creates conditions and then those conditions are do I trust this person did they say something nice to me are they doing the right things okay I'll open my doors a little bit do I you know so you're building you're building trust so you can let people in but you have the ability right now there's two ways to do it you can have conditions and walls and then people have to go through them to get to you or you can ex you can push out and you can actually create the feeling in you and then only the things that resonate with that feeling can come in mm -hmm. and you can go to that space like that like I watched you you went right from where you were to that space in seconds yeah the phrase that's coming up for me um is enlightenment and endarkenment like i can I can go there mm -hmm. really i guess efficiently yeah do you have an aquarius or pisces moon or rising do you know um i have a libra moon libra moon and virgo, you know rising? virgo rising oh interesting yeah i'm curious 
works because you're you're attaching detaching attaching detaching attaching detaching which is very aquarian or pisces they go back and forth between light and dark or attached and unattached and oh yeah i think i have aquarius in either uranus or neptune yeah okay yeah and and so that's actually a skill of yours and it can be utilized where it's powerful is when it's when it goes from two because virgo's attention to detail Virgo's like this, unattached is like this. So you see things from a different perspective and it gives you contrast so you can be, you can show appreciation for. Because if you're, you're always in it, then it's even the best of the best in the world at being grateful. If they're always there and they always have it, that feeling of gratitude can shift, no matter how talented someone is. So when you unattach and then you reattach, that gratitude can come back in and that's a good feeling. And so you, you can use it as a skill to step back, look at things from a different perspective, come back in, attach, get all involved and step back. But if you know that this is a skill that you naturally have, instead of going to the default mechanism, which is potentially the darker side of that feeling, you can go to the positive side of it and utilize it as a skill. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I definitely feel the archetypes like more on the collective stage like move through the the stuff like you know there's days I'm, like you said i don't know what that's about but i guess my plans are kind of off for the day as i move through this mm -hmm. so that mm -hmm. is happening a lot where i'll go really deep into the unknown like oh my goodness there's so much emotion coming up and then as it moves fully through there's just like euphoria and clarity on the other side yeah and the journey of you helping people transform is the journey for you to transform. So if you know that, that makes it fun because you get to say, okay, well, what am I, what do I want to transform into? If I asked you right now in a couple sentences, what is it that you want to transform into? Who is that person you want to become? Wow. <laughs> I love the question because immediately there's like this um, like massive ball of warmth in front of my entire upper torso. Yeah. <laughs> so I guess it's always like transforming into a greater emanation of love or in like um, a more expressed version of love. Like I like I like to make music and I like to write and I like to play and help others feel that freedom to play. So it's just basically, I want to transform into really expressing love more. Yeah. Okay. So that feeling we went to earlier, you were able to get to in seconds is the reason why you're helping others transform. So now that you know that the story that you tell people is I want to be the most loving and caring person that people meet and i'm going to use that love to create music and writing and artwork and help people i help people find love for themselves i really felt that <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. That felt good. There's like, there's definitely op more opening <laughs> in my sacral. I can feel more of my senses there. Um, or more like nerve endings really in my sacral. Mm -hmm. And then there's definite, <laughs> definite expansion in the heart. Yeah. <sighs> and <laughs> it's that feeling of like, oh, I'm aware of how much more oxygen <laughs> is available. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. You are powerful. You come here and you have everything. That's all we're doing. 
every like there's this, this whole movement of seek outside find the solution out there and it's like no two seconds let's go right here and then everything starts to open up and then all of a sudden everything works yeah and you can do it quickly like you're very talented at that i can see it and i can feel it and you're you're now your 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 pelvic floor opened so your root chakra so you're connected to the earth now your sacral chakra which is your creativity and feminine side and sexual sexuality is opening up your heart's opening up now you're coming into alignment whenever i have resistance in my life it's because somewhere isn't aligned my head's arguing with my heart or my my i'm acting out of fear and then all of a sudden it's like there's traffic and i'm late you know and then i forgot something and then it's just like this snowball effect of resistance but when I'm in alignment, everything flows. And that's where you're coming to. Yeah, and it, at first, I mean, I guess at first there's like that sense of like, well, this is a chore. <laughs> like I have had to consistently reprioritize, like, hold on, there is no greater task. There is no greater intention. There's nothing better on my schedule than to get into that place of what I call overflow or alignment. And then there's just, then there's just like the witnessing right of, of like okay now that's there yeah and I can be with that and that can I can express that that can flow through and there's that embracing and the allowing of it rather than that warring and tensing and resisting mm -hmm. <sighs> feels like you want to like dance or move I, yeah <laughs> <laughs> so Tell you what, you get yourself two minutes every day for the next week. I want you to go to that place before you start your day. And I'm going to let you go off camera and just move and express yourself and do whatever your body's asking for right now. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Take care. Thank you. Take care.